What's up guys, how you doing? We are going to start off uh, some PC Engine games with a game called B-Ball. It's a really fun game. Uh, I just discovered it uh, recently. Uh, for the TurboGrafx-16, it's called uh, Chu Man Fu. Um, I haven't beaten it yet. I've gotten pretty close. It's it's quite a quite a long uh, game. I think it has 60 levels. I got to 40, I believe. So, give it a try. Hey, Aquas. <laughs> Alright, so you can drag these balls around, and you can also kick through walls with the balls. You can attach, uh, attack enemies as well with the balls. Like we can kick through this wall. Oops. Oops. There we go. Man, I've got to get a scart splitter. All the noise that's on the stream is caused by the custom SCART cable that I have. It doesn't really help. Oh, whatever. So I think... I forgot how many areas there are. Oh, is the screen flickering? I just saw that out of the corner of my eye. I was murdered by a uh, steak and cheese burrito today from one of my favorite Mexican places. I didn't think I was coming back. <laughs> Oh, uh, Aquas, can you let me know that the game capture audio is coming through? I was messing with it earlier. I just saw that it was muted until now. It is working. Whoa. PC Engine, please. Let me know that the audio is still working now. Sorry. Pro stream. Oh, I added a few things to the stream. I added, um, whenever people use emotes, it will, like, float over the camera and chat. And then I added the, since I can take bits now, I added the bit boss just as a placeholder to something cooler. Oh, and I added, um, oh man, I'm gonna die. Okay, good. And I did different bit alerts for different amounts. Some pretty cool ones in there. Not that I feel like anybody should have to donate, but might as well uh, set it up if anybody would like to. Watch some commercials for me. 
Uh-oh. So if you get stuck in a situation like this, you can always take a ball back. It's super kawaii. What's up, Zero Fire? That's kind of what I feel like playing is just like no-brainer kawaii puzzle games. I have a few that I want to try out. some bad had some bad choices there Probably a good pattern for like each stage. That seemed like a really good one. Dumb too. Okay, I gotta. I trapped myself in here. One second. One more second. I forgot to tweet and crap that I'm going live.
What's up, Skip Nanny? How you doing? Alright, this one is... Yeah, okay. This one you have to, um, uncover. Oh, thank you. Yeah, it's not partner, but I'll take it for now. It's, uh, maybe it's a good foot in the door. What's up, Ten Spence? Oh, thank you. It's good, Natty. Should probably just keep that one sealed. Oh, I have to. Oh, that's nice. Does it go on forever? Wow. Huh. I have to get um, that little film or whatever it is in the roll to uncover the uh, uncover the little squares. For these things. I think if I do it again, it changes. There's also later in later stages. There's um, there's like things you can go over that will tempor temporarily change the color of the little squares that you put your uh, your balls on, and it will try to tries to fool you. I think you can get hit twice without losing a life. <laughs> metal pinball. I haven't done a metal pinball stream in a while. What's up, Shintong? Yeah, I just uh, just started playing this. Uh, I played it. This is my second time playing it. I played it once before um, when I discovered it. I think it's fun. All right, so do this to uncover. Oh yeah, this one had a certain pattern it wanted. We'll go ahead and break open that wall. Get rid of this dude. Uh, that's not what I want. I should have taken that ball. I should have. Let me open up this wall up top so I don't get stuck again here. not cheap. Yeah, I'm playing on an EverDrive. So I wouldn't know the price. <laughs> Alright, so let's open this wall. And we'll open the wall. 
Open this wall too. Yeah, you like to own games. I like to own games when I um when I really fall in love with the game. Hold on, let me mute that. That's annoying. There we go. A cabaret. -y. I'd like to own gimmick eventually. Oh dang it. Um, when you get done with an area, there's these bonus sections where uh, I'll be able to recoup a lot of my lives. Stink. Oh, I have another life. Okay. So I, uh, <laughs> I met my family. My family's in town right now. I met them out at a really good uh, Mexican restaurant that has margaritas that will kill you. So <laughs> after eating a giant steak and cheese burrito and a margarita, I went to sleep for an hour and a half. And that's, that's, I kind of knew that was going to happen. I wanted to stream when I got home, but I thought it might not happen because of that. So I'm a little groggy right now. Oh man, I normally make a wall at the top of the blue, so that's what threw me off there. I'll just make two walls here. Okay. There we go. <laughs> Food coma. Yeah, I fell asleep to Author Blues. <laughs> oh no, I fell asleep to Dead Flip. And then he said my name for some reason. I think it's cut. I uh, kept on auto hosting him by accident. <sighs> they have like butts on their back. Is that normal? Oh. <laughs> Dust drum. So gross. Just like some rum that's been sitting out for like 10 days. Aquas doesn't care. He'll drink it. So I don't know if that one really is green. I think it is because it made the sound. Oh no, look. See? Changed. Alright, let 
Let me, um... Kick some holes in these walls. So I don't get trapped like that. Whoa! Oh, I got stuck. I stuck... I stuck myself. Is there no continues? I think there's a password system. <laughs> I bet you do, Aquas. Wait, you've never tried that. <laughs> this game, I mean. Dude, they're freaking evil. They come right for you. Hmm. Maybe they're like those things in Zelda that if you like step in front of them, they uh, they go right for you. So you can just get all of these, and then they won't change anymore after they after the balls change back color wise. Well, this one looks confusing. So that pauses it. Uh, no, go this way so we can take him out. Okay. Whoa! Chill, bro. It's weird, you have to like hold the diagonal uh, when you go around turns to determine which way the ball goes. It's a ball for house. This is a fish dude for the uh, PC Engine. Pretty cool game. Oh yeah, so those dudes, they like freeze the ball so you can't use them. I goofed. Did I? What's up with you guys tonight? I set up things where... Here, I'll show you guys. When you use emotes in my chat... They go on the screen. <laughs> and then I have uh, the bit boss until I figure out something cooler. I didn't want to do... Um, I didn't want to do uh, the cup because I don't know if I like the cup or not for accepting bits. Oops. I thought I could back into there quick enough. Thank you. 
Yeah, it's fun. Oops. No, no, no. I don't know what any of the uh, the power-ups do, other than the scroll, the scroll reveals the squares that they have to go on, and there's a clock. Uh, I see, look, there's a bonus right here that says diamonds. I don't know. Oh, actually, I think it's right here. I think, um, I think I buy myself into a bonus round, and then I can get all kinds of one-ups. See if my diamond counter changes after this. So yeah, I have seven diamonds now. So that costs 30 diamonds to buy five one-ups, basically. Ah, uh, dang it. I thought he had a wall there. Probably gonna need a ball. Be able to get this one. I don't have much time left. Wow, that was close.
That's cool. Everything seems to spawn from the bottom, so it's nice to just keep that ball going and take care, or at least hit the enemies once before they get to spawn. I forgot to mess with my camera. So much setup. Figure video. This. This. All right, that's better. All of them are trapped over there. I did just going back and forth and freezing both of them. I take take him out. Uh, you can chill. There we go. I'm not gonna have enough time. Oh no! Nice. Um, I find a lot of them by looking at people's like lists and stuff like that. But I found this one by just uh, I have an EverDrive for this system, which has like every game on it, and I just was going through games alphabetically that I hadn't played before, and I thought this looked cool, and it ended up being really cool. I stayed up really late playing it one night. I got to like stage. 30 or 40, and I think there's like 60 stages. I believe there's like 50, maybe. So now we have to start to have some new enemies.
just went down the list. How many do you have you got through? It's a lot of good meme games. Open up this top part. Well, he's doing it too, huh? Oh, that dude was carrying it, wasn't he? No mahjongs. There's some good ones, but yeah, you have to learn how to play them. Do you guys like this game? Is it interesting to watch or is it only fun for me to stream? <laughs> Alright, I think we have another bonus stage here. I think there's a way for me to buy a password as well. Dude up top's got one of the balls. <laughs> 
What's the name of the game? The Korean volleyball game. That one was easy. What's up, don't touch, don't touch the door. Hey, tater salad. What a moat's cute. It's a gl new global emote. Cool. Hmm. All right, so I have to reveal. There we go. We did that. Let's get this ball free. Maybe. Maybe can't kick him the sides like that. Uh, let's get rid of him. Get rid of both these dudes. He has the only other ball I can grab right now, so let's get rid of him. Alright, we're gonna take a hit. Dang it. Thanks, buddy. Placing that there for me. Eh, I goofed. So how the hell am I supposed to get these free? I guess I'll get the sides in. There we go. And... Okay. Probably gonna run out of time on this one. It's not like I learned anything to do it again. I was hoping I could add another hit point for that. Oh, it's not global? Okay, gotcha. It's, it's a good move. The puzzles work by revealing the four squares and then getting the ball, all four balls, to the correct color. Uh, the monkeys can either freeze the ball or pick it up. Uh, there's a... you can kick through walls. You have a, a button which drags the ball and you have a button which kicks the ball. And you can kick through walls. Uh, these four color squares will temporarily change all of the balls to the to the to that color so it can make it so that you don't know which ball or where what goes where so this was already blue so i think pretty sure the correct blue ball is this one right here that i have for this guy um Pretty sure, yeah, this was green and this was blue. So I gotta get that black one. I didn't have a hit point. I don't know when I have hit, uh, I can take a hit and when I can't. Can't right off the bat, I guess. Jeez. Um.
That's bull. Should have had iframes through him. <laughs> I tried to get to the scroll so I could see where the things are. Oh, dude, that guy picked it up, picked up a uh, one that was already placed. Super volleyball, yeah, fun game. I played that one. Probably. Well, shit. All right. Wonder how many stages there are, and if it gets difficult, really difficult in the end. I wonder. So for some reason on Sunday I watched three Fast and the Furious movies. I think it was just because they were on TV. I was feeling lazy. 
And uh, I have family in town, and they're all into cars, so we just watched them. <laughs> Two of them I hadn't seen before. It's funny how you can get, like, sucked into watching stuff like that. Keep winning and you'll find out, yeah. Oh look, there's Kappa Monsters. Should have started a timer. Oh, I don't didn't think of that. I'm gonna need this ball to kick through at least a few of these. Um, can you just not kick through these guys? Two were. I'll have to wait it out. There we go. Um, we need to turn around. I'm scared that turtle's gonna come this way though. I don't think there's any way to get out of this. Getting hit. I think this is, I got to 30, I can go to a bonus stage or buy a password. I think that's what these two are. So I'll do the bonus stage, just to pad my life a little bit more. And then next time I get to 30, I will, uh... Buy a password. He stands on the ball. That's funny. What happens if I knock him off? Mm, okay. He's just gonna stand on again? Yeah, the cabos are cute. <laughs> I wonder if anybody has a Kappa FFZ of that kind of Kappa. Alright, uh... Jeez, I don't know. Need to take some holes in the wall.
Oh, he's standing on one that I need. So I think I have to knock this Kappa off this one. There we go. That didn't touch me. I guess his beat touched me. Dang. Um. Let's do some shoot fireballs. Oh dang. I was hoping you could skirt by some enemies. Level's not gonna be easy. Yeah, and you can't grab the ball when they're dancing on it. these do. Yeah, those knock out rows. You might not want to knock out all the rows. Kappa, stop dancing on it. <laughs> I guess I'll use the timeout. I think I see a solution. I should be punching a hole through one of these walls. I 
think. Maybe like no uh, time break on the respawns. had it there. I'm probably gonna get hit walking by him. I wonder if I go back if I uh, continue. It's probably what happens. Probably go back a few stages. At that point, I'd probably change games. Shit. I think I have one more life. Frozen in the worst place. Okay, I see a better solution. I just gotta get rid of everybody. Stop dancing on the damn ball. Same stage, okay. That's good. So I need to pull that green ball through that hole that's right there to the left of it. And then everything else is pretty close. Shit, man. <laughs> What's up, Lucky Pop? First stage, it's really giving me a lot of trouble. It's because of this one Kappa that's dancing on it. Okay. Here we go. This should be it. Oh! If I don't get hit. Phew. <sighs> Sorry. Took so long. I need to get some water. Cucumbers? I don't think I see any of those.
Okay. Look at this stage. So I need to get to, to that scroll at the very bottom to reveal where the squares are. And it looks like I'm going to have to do a lot of kicking through walls. I should start by just kicking through this one. Seal him them in there. What's up, coaches? Dude, these turtles do not want to die. I f I'm pretty sure um, the black ball hits harder than all the other balls. <laughs> First church sheen. First church is watching this. Oh, crap, I trapped myself in here. Uh, dang. Yeah, I, um, I got burrito, dude. I uh, I went to VIP Mexican and had margaritas and uh, steak and cheese burrito. So I I just woke up from a nap like an hour ago. So that's why I didn't come out to church. Church and Nintendo. Dude, this stage is like serious. like these turtles didn't respawn it wouldn't be so bad but they definitely do oh he's gonna come right from my butt Good, I got out of it. Nice. Shit, man. If I could just get through that. Would have been able to get the other ball. I wonder what this does. It probably quits. I'm scared to read. I'm probably asking if I want to continue, yes or no. Alright, I don't even remember what I did. Can't do that. Five hits. <laughs> I don't want to get stuck in this pattern again like I did last time. It takes up. Like 10 seconds or something like that. Yeah, at least. Don't really have that time.
I didn't think about how I was gonna get out. Dang it. It's gonna be a hard one. Let me see how many stages there are in this game. I think it has 50 stages. Oh, there's a title select too. Or a. At the title hold, one select and press up and left. You can get golden balls. <laughs> so, yeah, there's only one more area I have to get through. Promising. Pinball and desirables, thank you for those. Oh, look at this stage. I got the stupid Kappa's back.
think this is all of them. I just need to wait for the timeout for the color change to happen. Yep. Do the Kappas just want to dance in their lore? Is that like something that happens with Kappas? Dang it. That was close. Whew. I goofed. Right, I need to kick out that wall to get this scroll. Uh, okay, I think I see how I do it. Break out the wall here. All these walls, I guess. No, no, I see how I have to do it. Well, I, actually, I don't know how to do it. I have to get in that top right little area somehow. Okay. And then I have to back into it. break through this wall. I'm gonna run out of time. died for some reason. I didn't think I was going to get that. 
Alright, new area. I think there's only 10 more stages, hopefully. I wonder where I got the diamonds from. I didn't see myself pick up any diamonds. I look at all the dudes lined up, that's cool. Um, okay, so they go in just black and blacks on the bottom, greens on top. If I run over any of those little squares uh, with a circle ball in it, it changes the color of the ball so it's easy to get lost. Oh, they kick through their own wall. Wow. He picked it up. What a jerk. Alright, so yeah, this one goes here. This one goes here. And then these two are reversed. Oh, the other dude picked up one of the balls. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate that. Crap. Stop picking up my balls, dude. I think that's it. Sweet. Okay, it's all mixed up. <laughs> I 
Imagine this as a speed run where you like have everything memorized. Be insane. So we don't have any way in to get in there until one of them breaks through the wall. Weird. There we go. Of course he goes the way I am. I need as many entrances as possible. I'm gonna make some entrances. Oh, I didn't see that wall was open. Thing. spawning a lot of dragons. I thought I was just going to die at zero. If I would have known they would have done that, I could have probably could have avoided that. Alright, I have a better attack now.
There we go. One second. Be right back. Alright, sorry about that. Hmm. <clears throat> it's nice that it keeps everything on screen when you pause. A lot of puzzle games like this, when you pause, it will take away all the uh, important artifacts so you can't just sit here and make a strategy. like no that's crazy hmm and maybe you have to hit him from behind yeah okay Worked, but he came right back. He just grabs the ball. Uh... 
I need to use a ball to get that ball back. Punk. Hopefully only three more stages. Look at this BS. I don't I don't even know how to... Oh, so you have to attack each level. There's no way to get from the top and knock down all the walls that way, so it looks like you have to sweep through every side. That's fine. Okay. At least I know what to do now. So I have to go like this. Oop. What a... Wiener. Alright, we got this though. There we go. Hey, Andrew. Thank you for the host. everything on the line.
here. <laughs> Leisure Suit Larry, nice. Did you get through it all? Which one? The very first one? Really? This stage is going to be a pain. Although those, those cancels will help if I know how to use them, if I use them correctly. Just hoping I didn't get hit. Pick up that ball too. Yeah. Be a goober. I didn't touch him. Oh, nice. You get through it all? Yeah. Uh, yes, you did. Sweet. So close. that back. Oh, you jerk. He's really starting to piss me off. There we go. Alright. He just went and picked up another one. Okay. There we go. Um, I can just get the controller to cooperate. I think one more. This one's gonna be fun. Alright, is this it? This is what we've been working for. Stage 50. There's probably 10 more stages. I hope there's not.
Oh, watch there be a second loop with a gold ball. Because there was a code for a gold ball. That's gonna stink. I'll consider the game beat if that's the case. Yep, that's the case. That stinks. I think that's the case. Hookie cookie coo! Maybe it's some kind of, like, boss rush. Oh, there is a timer. Kappas. Ugh. That sucked. Color man. This looks like a possible ending. I bet you the game loops, though. I'll call that a GG. Yeah, I think I'm done. Oh yeah, design. Sweet, we'll move on to another game. Very Dragon Ball Z-ish. Or just Dragon Ball. Oh, so, sorry for constantly promoting these, but these will be out. Uh, I'm having a giveaway for the pens. Um, it's free to sign up. Just type uh, exclamation point giveaway in chat and you just verify that you're following me on Twitter and Facebook and all that all that s standard streaming stuff and then they'll be for sale shortly thereafter for as cheap as I can sell them yeah I'm, I'm really happy with the way they came out This guy and this guy. So 
So just go on infinitely? I feel like she's been floating for a while. I bet you it starts back at stage one. <laughs> I want to animate a gif of this dude. <laughs> oh, I didn't say that code. Yeah, yeah, loop two, look. Oh shit! This is like... Yeah, it looks like it's a whole new stage. Alright, well that's, that's good for now. Alright, there's another... PC Engine puzzle game I wanted to try. I'm gonna have to look it up what it is, but it's um, it has like five layers, five different like levels you can jump to, and you have to get through like mazes and stuff, and everything is moving like parallax, like fake parallax scrolling. Um, let me see if I can find it. Yeah, I saw that code uh, in GameFAQ. like a long name. Maybe I'll just go through these. Look how long that name is. Cross Wiber Cyber Combat Police. Gotta check that out. That sounds amazing. Uh, let me look. Let me Google. Crater Maze. No, Crater Maze was one that I wanted to check out as well, but that's not the one, the main one I wanted. Let's see. Let's look at Crater Maze real quick.
Let me ask my friend what that game was that I was trying to think of. Top down load runner. I don't, have, I don't think I played load, load runner. I like how they draw the stages, that's really cute. Alright, we have a trampoline mechanic. Look a bomb. Oh, weird. We bomber man now, boys. If I can get hit by my own bomb. Nope. It's on one of the. There's an NES game as well. <laughs> What's happening? It's happening in that better Twitch TV emote. <laughs> Ooh, I wonder what those black holes are. Alright, we have to try. Okay. Oh, yeah, they're teleports. Okay, that's cool. Hmm. Oh, gotta use it. Oh dang. We have to go through it again.
take that as invincibility. Okay. Or invisibility, maybe? Some drop frames earlier, huh? huh? Not too bad, though, I guess. Is this game too loud? It sounds like it might be a little loud. Oh, so I just I moved it down just a little bit. Let me know if I need to move it back. like PC Engine puzzle games. They're usually done really well in games you haven't seen before. They always, they often have really good music. Don't know where that takes me. Probably right there. Sounds okay? Alright, thank you. Ooh, look at that. A shovel power up here. Oh, I can do two now. Ooh, look, I can do three coming up. <laughs> I shovel. I shovel really well. Be a bad like super ability. I can shovel three holes at one time. What do you even know about that? So this is another game, um, like the last game we played. That like once you beat it, you get uh, unlock a bunch of other uh, like in a re I think it's in a, like an arranged mode. And it has like doors, kind of like door door or mappy, that you can close and open. Um, I haven't seen that yet though, because I, mean, I haven't, this is my first time playing the game. I just saw it in a video before. Video of. Uh... Oh, look at that, that's really cool. Chris Bucci does videos of Spider One on uh, YouTube. Really good review videos of pinball and PC Engine games. Yes, I have the Game Boy Flash card. shovels that we need. Seems like I can do a row now. Dude, I hope this is faster. Yeah, I think so.
Yeah, I have um, I have a GameCube and uh, the Game Boy Player. I haven't. It's S Video though. Everything is set up uh, RGB right now, so it take a little bit of setup, but it could be done. Um, and yeah, I've done. I haven't done a raffle on Game Boy yet, but I, I do have a, like two or three nights where I checked out a lot of different Game Boy games. Uh, I have a bubble now. I don't like that as much. Um, yeah, I found a really a lot of good, really Game Boy games and Game Boy Color games. What's up, Cather? I think this is invincibility. Alright, let's see where this takes us. Just down there. We have to find... Oh, there's the invincibility of the timer at the top. Get your hands on an SD loader. What homebrew would I want to run? Yeah, I know they have those like action play or those memory cards that have SE adapters, and then you can run. There's actually a better disc than default uh, for the Game Boy Player that has a lot more features. It's not too many Game Boy Color games I want to play at the moment. I just wish the Super Game Boy could handle them. stage is huge. <laughs> How was Church and Nintendo? Oh man. Oh yeah, I knew. Well, crap. GBI. Nice. Ah, oh, shit. Cathode Rays, do you remember the name of that game that Evan told me to check out that has like five layers of scrolling? For the PC Engine? It's like a runner type game. Where's the door? Oh, here we go. I wanted to check that as, out as well. I beat, I beat B-Ball earlier. Yeah, I looked through our messages and I couldn't find it. Thank you. going down there. Flashlight. Oh man. I don't want the flashlight. I don't remember where the door was. I think it was down and to the right. out. There's the door. A flashlight or like an ice ray or something. I don't know. Turn 
Friday 1.30. Oh, jeez. I got another dumb weapon. Super Nintendo? Yeah, I plan to do Super Nintendo again. I had a su I had one Super Nintendo raffle already. How many sages this thing has? I think it's a lot. Like a lot a lot. It's fun though. I like it. Let's, let's look up how many sages this has. Sixty rounds. Yeah, I'm not doing that tonight. <laughs> See, you can't find the name of it either. It was like a. I remember it being a long name, Cathode. Maybe it was like. I don't remember. Oh, I got stabbed. I wonder if I lose all my shovel power-ups. Watch. If I do, I'm gonna riot. Damn, that sucks. I lost my speed shoes, too. That stinks. That super stinks. How does this take me? Where's the last, uh, chest?
I could look through my YouTube history, but that'd be... Because I watched uh, just to look up the game, but that would take like five minutes. I watch a lot of YouTube. <laughs> Don't want the flashlight. It's gonna get tricky with all these little warps. Furry vids? How many furry vids? Yeah, it's cool if you do, but... So, only one more chest, huh? I think I have a way to find it. Here it is. Hannah on the road. Check that out in a minute. mean. Alright, let's check that out. I'm gonna check that out. Ooh, there's Hannah on the road and Hannah on the sky. I already like that beginning. Platformer. Thanks for the call, Kevin. Just changing the game name and the title and stuff. Start in one minute.
canny and lemon? It's just... Is that one player, two player? I don't know. Volume on this is a lot lower. I'm going to turn this up a little bit. I think you want to pick those things up and avoid the dudes. I have a jump. Maybe I have a jump? I have a normal jump and I have this. Okay. I get it. Jump late there. Ah! Wrecked. <laughs> it is a cute, it's a really cute cover. I can't just drag things in the stream. And that's the the cover of this game. All right, let's see what Hanny and Lemon do. Oh, weird. To manage both of them. Assume player two would do something. Unless this game just gets like so easy that you want an additional challenge. Yeah. Yeah, let me restart. So I like it, but I like the other puzzle games I was checking out earlier a little bit better. can't jump uh, when you're transitioning. Oh nice, I got both of them. Oh, this one's nice because you control your uh, your scroll speed. Which I like a little bit better. The other one I was having to tap forward and back. Thank you so much, uh, BBH, for the host. How was the randomizer? I was watching it earlier. 
where I fell asleep to a burrito. Checking out PC Engine games. Uh, we beat awful. I'm sorry, dude. Sometimes main will just give you a freaking handful of crap. We were playing. Uh, we beat B-Ball earlier, which had 60 stages. Pretty fun game. Oh, it looks like oh, I can choose my path. Weird. This is some platformer called Handy on the Road, and it looks like there's a Handy in the Sky as well. I wonder if this looks very arcade game-ish. I wonder if there's an arcade version or so of something like this. Dude, this this stage doesn't mess around. Getting wrecked. <laughs> Can I not ch oh, What, you have to go all the way back to the back? Holy shit. Oh, man. What's up, BMF? How you doing? Ashtray, thank you for the follow. Ashtray Heim. <laughs> so if you're new to the channel, uh, I always give the spill. I do um, console, actual pinball games, and arcade games. Uh, usually when I'm streaming arcade, it's off uh, actual hardware of what I have. Uh, I have a lot on loan right now. Um, but yeah, I did a main. I did. I think I did main randomizer or uh, viewer's choice like two weeks or like a couple days ago. And of course, people made, made me play some hot garbage. That's, uh, that's how randomizers or viewer's choice usually go. Let's look at this. What does SS Trippy have? <laughs> Unicorn's rare AF. All right, so let's not. Well, this one was easy. Let's not die at the. Let's not choose the volcano one this time. Someone could type exclamation point giveaway. I'm uh, giving away some pins, some enamel pins that I had made up of my logo and Gumrick, which is like a, a derpy gimmick that gimmick speedrunners use. Thank you, Cathaway. Cathode. I'll show them in a second. <laughs> so I'll be giving away uh, a set of these, um, I think on Saturday afternoon, and you do, you do the, uh, you follow the link to sign up for all that crap. <laughs> Sonric, dude, Sonric's so money. I'll make Sonric into a pen if Aquas wants it. <laughs> A backwards one? Uh oh. I really wish you could jump in between platforms or in between levels, like up and down. I should have stayed with Crater Maze. We're gonna move on to another game. Alright, let's move on to another puzzle game. Let me see, I had a decent list up here. Well, screw it. I'll do a randomizer f since you guys are in here. Let me see. Just give me one second. Let 
All right, say your thing in the chat to uh, to get to choose the next game. Staying up for another hour. I have a um a bunch of PC Engine CD games as well. Um, you just have to ask if I have it because they're like over here. I can do any PC Engine game or any uh. Turbo graphics game. We'll give it. I'll have it for another minute to choose the game. And I'll play the game for 15 minutes. Where's that Mega Man song? Song so good. Master, thank you for the follow. Come on. Want to play the BIOS game? Hellfire. It's going to take me a minute to find that. Music, please. It's gonna be like the last game that I find. Literally. Hit. 
second to last game I went through. Hellfire. This game's really cool. I actually like this version better than the uh, arcade version. Because it's easier. Skip the intro. The intro's so waifu though. Can't skip. What's up, Jimmy? <laughs> no, I, I was playing, I was playing puzzle games, and then uh, I let BBH Ray take over to make it into raffles. Salamander anime was a drag? That stinks. Alright. Politics, politics, cool ships, politics. It was like a Godzilla movie. Oh. Tissue time. It's funny because like the arcade game has no reference that the pilots are girls, and then they just like do what they want to on the PC Engine version. What's up, Hilmi Turkey? <laughs> Etro. <laughs> Their eyes are always so freaking huge. Which one's a better waifu? いつでも飛べるわよ。北斗君、東郷君、脱出準備は完了した。目的地は南米駅市。そこでスタンビートは最強の兵器に生まれ変わる。南米？しかし、アマドンはまさきに攻撃を受けて惑星海峡。いや、
I'm sorry you guys aren't seeing the scan lines. The scan lines look so good in this. Should have started the stupid... I'm going to start the timer now. Do we have gameplay now? Oh, we do. Thank you for following. I'm not sure if it's the same way as in the uh, arcade game, but there's a certain point where you don't want to power up anymore because rank becomes uh, rank becomes really crazy. I imagine in this version, rank probably isn't a problem you have to worry about. I could be wrong. Yeah, there's a Genesis version as well. Uh... I always get tripped up in the arcade version on what, uh... Shot type is next. It would have been nice to have uh, for the US. For the US versions to have a. Uh, take advantage of the six. Like dynamo cabs with the six buttons, and then just have a shot type matched each, each one. Yeah, the CD tunes, I believe, are unique to this version. Yeah, Dio had that kind of set up. In situations where I don't know the route, 
or what's coming up. Uh, I normally stick to this diagonal here. Because you can normally get to everything you need to. Oop. Yeah, I think I got hit there. Otherwise you're like pan scrambling to change the shot type. Get wrecked. Oh yeah, PC Engine's amazing. Had a roundabout in it, yeah. Remember this game's like really easy until like level 3 and then it just destroys you? Like a lot of shoot 'em ups. Egypt, aka Space. Oops, thumbs, thank you for the follow. There's me fumbling with uh, the order of the weapons. I'll just go to diagonal. This section. Oh, tricky, huh? This feels like Gradius too. I got into the system because of Rondo of Blood. That was the first game that I uh, somebody showed me. I was like, holy shit, this game is amazing. It's the the thing I love about the PC Engine is the juxtaposition between the 16-bit graphics um, and then the CD music. Like the system really shines with uh, the CD-ROM. Because it's like so unexpected and so unusual to to play 16-bit graphics. And then to have uh, the CD music. I think I hit it a couple times there, maybe. Yeah, 
Yeah, and then all the caravan games, all the shoot 'em up games, all the puzzle games. You know, a lot of games that are exclusives to the system. Right, I don't know this dude. Oh, it's shoot the balls again. We died though. PC engine, PC engine emulation. Um, I think the only problem with emulation is when you try to do CD-ROM drives, you have to burn them, or you have to mount the image, because the PC and the emulators want the CD-ROM and the CD drive. But I haven't, I don't usually, I don't do emulation uh, that much, uh, except for MAME. I don't know if there's anything wrong with it, I just like to play on the original hardware if possible. I play on a CRT and it's be a pain to have emulation set up for all that. Actual PC engines you can buy on eBay. Um, you can get just the core system that plays the hue cards for like 50 to 60 bucks. Uh, the actual CD-ROM based ones. Uh, there's two ways to do it. You can get a PC engine like core system and then get a briefcase and then a CD-ROM attachment or you can get an all-in-one duo. They have the duo, duo R and duo RW. And then there's of course the TurboGrafx 16 CD version. Um, if you get a duo, if you get a duo or the PC Engine uh, CD-ROM, you're gonna need to have it capped, or it's gonna need to be recently capped. Uh, change all the capacitors. They they're old and they leak and they, they make it so the system doesn't work. Uh, the Duo R and RW are usually fine. You don't have to recap them. Um, there's no copy protection on the CD-ROM, so you can play you can play CD-Rs. It does wear the laser, but it's okay. There's replacement lasers and gears out there. And then, uh, for all the Hue card games, it's it's really too late to get into collecting the original games. It's really expensive for this system, so uh, a lot of people, like myself, use a... Uh, uh, use a, an EverDrive by Crix. And then you can have every Hue card ever. I mean, and there's just not even, like, not even if you have the money, you just can't find a lot of these games anymore. This song's kind of funky. Duo R and RW. Uh, duo, you have to have recaps. And then the duo are the duos have a uh, they have like what's called like basically like RAM expansion called a uh, system BIOS cards. Oh, I was wondering if I could run into that. Damn it! Should have saw that my bullets were. See, this game is really hard to recover in. Um, the duos come with built-in system system three cards, I believe. So the only card that you have to end up buying if you want to play, because they have different generations of their CD-ROM. They have like uh, S Super CD-ROM, Super CD-ROM 2, and then the, they have like an arcade uh, standard. And they use just different um, amounts of RAM cards. And there's only a few games that use use the, uh, the Super or, I mean, the arcade card. Rex. Yeah, this is this is about where I said it would get shitty. So we're just about 15 minutes into the game. So say anything in the chat, you'll be entered into the raffle.
choose the next game. I'll try to fight this boss. Shoot him in his nutsack. Whatever the hell that thing is. Yeah, that's about right. The only stipulation is you can't have just previously won, so cathode rays cannot win. We'll give it two minutes. Yeah, the RX isn't really worth buying. The only reason people want the RX is because it comes with a six-button controller. Uh, but there's only one or two games that use that. What's up, Shiba Inu? How you doing, man? If you just want to check out the system, just start with the core graphics. You can always sell it or give it to somebody. Antoine, thank you for those. Antoine, somebody was asking about PC Engine emulation. How good is it and how it, uh, difficult is it to set up? So if you could... I know you do that, so if you could say something in chat, I'd appreciate it. Strip Fighter 2. I think I can actually stream Strip Fighter 2. Like, I don't think it's that bad. Make sure there wasn't anything else that I missed in chat. In chat. Kill Me Turkey was playing on MSX, nice. Yeah, the, the Konami games on MSX are so good. Sound so amazing. Cathode Rays, uh, which is local to me, just got an MSX 2 Plus. So we've been playing on that. Dude, Gold Concern Frog. <laughs> so good. I added my own um, Happy Frog, which is from the same artist as uh, the original Concerned Frog. Magic Engine works pretty well. Do you have to do anything silly? Oh, can you play the legit CD games? Do you ha what do you have to do to play CD games? Do you have to mount it as an image? Uh, Etro, all you do is say anything in the chat, uh, and then you get to choose the game for the next 15 minutes. You're already entered. Uh, if you don't know a game, that's fine. You can pass it to somebody else, or I can just recommend something. Alright, let's do, let's do the roll. Ninja Ray. Burning Angel. Is that CD arm or not? don't remember. I don't know. I got it. <laughs> nice jiggle. Guys are only gonna recommend games with uh, boobs jiggling waifus in the in the beginning. Let's see what the options are. Nothing. Horizontal mode. Oh, that's cool. It has a vert mode. I love when games have that. Um, you see this sometimes on PC Engine games, but it's just, it's not like a true vert mode. It just, like, uses more of the middle screen. See how it doesn't, if it was true vert, it would just rotate. Music's super low. I, I haven't played this before. It starts off right into a boss battle, so that's pretty awesome. 
I always want to know if that was like the first game to do that was Donopati 2 or not. Start right into a boss battle. Or if they took that from another game. I'm sure they probably did. Like when people give Donopachi 2 slack, I'm like, it starts off with a freaking boss battle. It's kind of awesome. Color changing bullets are doing something to my brain though. Surprised I haven't played this before. I love caravan games, so thank you for the uh, suggestion. I like that he uh, zoomed in like that from the background. I love when there's um in shoot 'em ups and other games when there's like a boss or an enemy in the background that like hangs out there for a while and then slowly comes to the to the main plane. I always think that's really cool. I like when stuff warps in too. Just shoot them up with uh, enemies that warp in. I can't remember what game it is right now. I think it's Espa Galuda or Espa Galuda 2. Yeah, Hori Vert. <laughs> Yeah, I tend to get frustrated uh, with vert games or hoary games that are vert scrolling. There is an exception though, Cathode or um, Andrew Ray is a uh, caravan games. Usually, since they're made for this kind of gameplay, they're usually a little bit better than like just a straight up smup. I'm getting wrecked at this boss. I don't think the other button does anything. You can't change your speed like you can in most caravan games either. Explosive breaker? Well, that's uh... Oh, look at that waifu. <laughs> holy, holy waifu action. Um, Explosive breaker is definitely an exemption of a freaking game where... Oh, that's also... Oh, I thought that was a game that, uh... A game where um, you were answering it to uh, a game where the boss battles or the bosses uh, warp in, but you're saying games that start off right into a boss battle. Uh, explosive breakers I have here. It's a piece of shit. <laughs> Please load Apache.png. <laughs> At least you have iframes in this game. All's the dick. Yeah, I have all's the dick here. I have the tournament one too, or something. They're not doing too good. It started off super easy. I like uh, in caravan games when you. When you get hit, you just lose like a power up as opposed to dying. I hit select, I don't know if that does anything. What the hell is this? Is this the Burning Angels? Maybe that's like my bomb or something? Maybe I have to collect a certain amount of those stars. Damn.
Like the disco boogie beat. I need to get powered back up again. Freaking everything's a homing. I got stomped. Damn. Eh, disco party. It goes right back into the intro. That's gnarly. <laughs> that flip, thank you for the auto host. Uh, so you can choose your character here, too. No continue. I may add. These spinning options are going to be nice, though, because the options look like they block bullets. So, might save me in some instances. Okay. Oh, they're gone. Never mind. I like to have my ship as fast as possible in caravan games, and you can't choose your uh, ship speed in this, unfortunately. worth restarting. The ship is definitely not as uh, strong as the last ship. Some MK clouds. left. <laughs> I don't know if it's a true caravan game. It's more, probably just more or less a shmup. Steam Hearts. I've actually streamed uh, Steam Hearts. I did a stream of two different versions. I did the Saturn and the uh, PC Engine version. It got a little awkward. I took my camera off. It wasn't that bad though. Dang. Dude, stage two. We at fifteen yet? <laughs> Not even powerful enough to like get through those dudes. Thanks.
Yeah, I'm not doing another round of that. Say anything in the chat to uh, choose the next game. I'll do two more. It's already getting pretty late. While that's happening, I'll be right back. Sir Lumble one. <laughs> Sounds good, Binary. When this gets to two, uh, we'll choose the raffle. Is that a different part of the, uh... It's one of those games that shows, like, the intro over two or three segments. So I think that was a different part. Union. What would you like to see? So any PC Engine or Turbo Graphics game. If you don't know a uh, game to choose, you can ask somebody in chat, or I can recommend something. Hand it over to me. Um. Okay. Let's see. I really like this Galaga. Let's do this Galaga. Let's do the PC Engine version though. I think it might be called something else though. Not the Galaga, it's... I want to do the uh, Space Invaders. Hold on, let me look it up, the name real quick. There's, um, the original game's in here, but there's also, like, a, a, a different version that's unique to this that I find a lot of fun. And it's more of them, like, a shoot -em up So that's the original version, and then you choose this version over here. Toasty! Thank you for the follow. And this version's like nobody ever plays this. This is a this is a really cool game. I was really impressed with it. This is one of the first um PC engine games I had. Space Invaders Plus, I guess. Alright. So oop. Cool. 
Cool. Zero fire knows it. Oh, timer. The space shop sometimes give you power ups. In later levels, you um you end up having a ship and you fly through space. No power ups. This is like a bomb. Yeah. <laughs> I'm playing the CI-80. CI-99 version. Turn out lights, yeah, it's just the stage. Dang. That's cool, that's just all pixel work with the uh, rotating ship, because the PC Engine can't do like 3D graphics like that. Possible to hit this dude. Shit. 
Let's actually get to a corner. Dang. Yeah, it's pretty challenging with the dark stages. You can get like shield power ups. A bunch of. Man, thing. I'm not getting too much good RNG with the uh, power ups. I had a strat. I haven't played this in a long time. I think it was either start from the outside or. Dang. I forgot, I forgot what it was though. You really want to save that to like the last few enemies because it will uh, home in on them. Yeah, this, this ranks up in difficulty rather quickly, because uh, it starts off so easy. I think I remember my strat. It was the take off the... Uh, the bottom layers. Give yourself a little bit more time. What's up, Woodbangers? How you doing? Thank you for the host. about to get a power up too. I think that was the homing. So we're playing this till 15 minutes and then I'll do one more raffle before bed. Uh, raffle where you can choose the game. Next PC. Jeez. That's just worth dying for because I already got hit twice. Two power ups at once. I'm gonna use all these. Oh, waited too late.
gonna be hard to get in on here. Dang. What's up, Siege the Grump? Siege the Gump. That's near impossible. Thank you for the follow. Toasty! Dungeon Explorer is really good. Dungeon Explorer 2, I think there's Dungeon Explorer 2 is really, really good. I think that's a game I have a uh, translation of. Shattering music. I don't remember. I thought the music was really good. I'll look up what the game I think I'm talking about in a second. Dang. Alright, let me look up the game. There was a translation, fan translation done, and then PCE Works uh, put it out where you could buy it, or uh, now and then they give away uh, games as well. I have a few of their games that they gave away for free. Godzilla, Bunk 3, Dungeon Explorer 2, Rondo of the Blood. Alright, let's do one more. I'm going to call it a night. So, same thing in the chat. You'll be entered into the raffle. Choose the next game, and I'll play it for 10 to 15 minutes. Depending on how tired I am, I'm getting pretty tired.
Got us some daddy milk. <laughs> the glo it's a global emote. It's so good. This should be showing up on the stream like the other stuff was. No, oh, it's not. Oh, I think it's because it's not my emote. Yeah. timer. I'll give it just uh, 30 more seconds. Okay. There we go. Jimmy Q-Balls. Holy crap. Second raffle winner ever. <laughs> oh, JJ and Jeff. I played JJ and Jeff in a previous raffle, but I'll let it. I'll let it slide. Since I now I kind of know what to do. Yeah, this was a weird one to get localized. Yeah, it's very Adventure Island-ish. So in the Japanese version, you fart instead of spray something. Jump on stuff. Just want to kick everything. I'd like to watch a game center on this. That'd be pretty funny. 
the kick is like look where the kick hitbox is that's that's one thing that really annoyed me with this game because you have to like space it perfectly as opposed to like a punch you're used to now, what was it you're supposed to like kick this thing or something You have to do something to this tree trunk. Tree trunk. Can somebody remind me. Fall back to 1 1. I'd be really annoyed with that. Oh, there we go. It's little things like that that really take away from this game because it has a lot of personality. Oops, forgot to bet. I don't think I can go back in there either. I think it's based on actual Japanese comedians. That hurts you for some reason. What was that? And that gives you poo, which hurts you as well. <laughs> I think I went too far. The old poo in the telephone pole gag. I always fall for it. I think my vitality is just going down. I think it's the timer. Just you lose health by the longer you stay alive. It's weird.
Hidden doors, huh? Took off half my health. How do I bet? fucking snake <laughs> game over oh, is this the kind of game that has no continues feels like it would all right I'm tired <laughs> thanks guys for hanging out thank you uh, Lord BBH for the host thank you for all the new follows and all the other hosts as well I will see you guys soon let's look for uh, somebody to raid 